Hey guys, it's Tash here from Hunt Shack. Today we're going to be showing you how to mount the Burris Eliminator 3, this cool little thing over here, onto our new Tika T3X 300 Win Mag. I'm going to show you guys how to mount the picatinning rail that goes on first, and Jess will show you guys how to put the actual scope on after that. I'm going to be using the Wheeler Fat Wrench. Um, so it's got this little measurement system on there that shows you how many inch pounds you're using to tighten the screws. So first of all, we need to take the Picatinny rail. It's got this little bit at the front that pops straight into the rifle here. And we'll just make sure that all the screws match up to the holes and then we can start. So we have our fat wrench set at 60 inch pounds. And I'll grab my little accessory and just pop a screw in there. And then you just want to twist it until the actual wrench itself clicks. So like that. And then you're all good. And you can go for the next one. Picatinny done! So Tash has mounted the Picatinny rail for us and now I'm going to show you guys how to mount the Burris Eliminator. You will have to bear with me because I haven't done it before myself. Um, I've been told that it's quite simple so we'll see how we go. Straight out of the box you get um, some little just easy quick install instructions uh, and then you've also got some kind of more in-depth brochures um, that also help you to set up the actual scope once it's mounted on your rifle. So we'll go with the quick instructions first, see if they work for us and see how we go. So you've got these cross bolt assemblies that come, you get two of them, one for the front and one for the back of the scope that come in the box with the virus. You just slip them on to your rail. Um, we're using obviously the Picatinny rail like Tash just showed you. And then you grab your scope and hopefully slide it on in there just like that. Push everything towards the front. We will need to check our eye relief. Perfect. Then you just want to finger tighten these cross bolts. I always like to go a couple of screws on one and then a couple of screws on the other just so that it's tightening evenly. Once you've finger tightened these nuts, you want to grab your torque wrench again and the instructions say to tighten it to anywhere between 50 and 70 inch pounds. So ours is set at 60 um, from Tash doing the Picatinny rail, so we'll just leave it at that. And we are done. One Burris Eliminator mounted on our Tika Forest, ready to take with us to New Zealand and everywhere else we get off to next year hunting. Okay, so now you've seen how to mount the Burris Eliminator 3 on the Tika. Super easy, everything comes in the box, you don't need any scope rings or anything like that. So a couple of things about the scope. This scope um, has an automatic ranging system in it. So you've got this little button on either side of the scope to allow for either left-handed or right-handed rifle owners. And these buttons are just on off and ranging for the actual scope. These also come with a little remote for you. So you don't have to be reaching forward onto your scope every time you want to range something. You just screw off the little button, screw on the remote, and then you can just place it anywhere on the rifle for easier access to the ranging feature. Thanks for watching guys. And if you want to keep up with everything that we're doing, you can see us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll put the tags below for you to see.